Welcome. Today we will learn how to identify geometric terms. Geometry is all around us. I am going to teach you through my love of sports. Here we go. Let's start with the word point. A point is a location in space. And math points are labeled by a dot and the letter. Watch out points coming at you. Wow, that was intense. Maybe I will be safer out here on the track. A group of points put together that have no stopping point are called lines. Lines go on forever and ever in both directions. A line segment is a group of points with two end points. If you look at the words line segment at the S reminds me the line is going to stop on both sides. Line segments stop. Man, I love the sun. It feels good to be outside. Rays are a group of points with one end point that continues on in the other direction with no stopping point. Look at the ray of sunshine. The sun is the end point and the light path forms the rest of the ray. A ray has one end point and extends in the other direction forever. When two rays or line segments connect at the same end point they form an angle. Take a look at home plate. There are two line segments connecting at a common end point to create the point of home plate. This connection creates an angle. Angles are two rays or line segments connected by a common end point. Let's see what we can find on the football field. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect or cross paths to form a right angle. Right angles are 90 degree angles. 90 degree angles create a square corner. Look at the goal post. These two line segments are perpendicular. They meet at a common end point and form a right angle. Here are some examples of other things that are perpendicular. The clipboards with our plays have perpendicular lines. Our lockers have perpendicular lines. The sign for timeout creates a perpendicular line. That isn't all that is here on the football field. Look at the yard lines marking the distance on the field. These line segments will never cross paths. These lines are parallel. Parallel lines are two lines that are always the same distance apart and will never cross paths. Here is a trick, there are parallel lines in the word parallel. Can you find them? Here they are. The two L's in parallel can help you remember what the word means. Geometry is all around us. Look around and see what type of geometry you can see today. 